Hello again, Victor here from Rescue Studio. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at this Harley Benton D120CE. Let's give it a whirl, shall we? One, two, three. Welcome back, you guys. Before we get into some tones, as per usual, let's get over the specs. The top on this acoustic guitar from Harley Benton is made out of spruce wood. The back and sides are mahogany, as well as the neck is made of mahogany. The fingerboard and the bridge is made of what Harley Benton call thermally treated maple. I would get, guess that was some kind of roasted maple kind of thing, but they're not allowed to say that because of trademarks and copyright, but I'm guessing that's what it is. So roasted maple or thermally treated maple. So the tuners on this one is just some no name, no name stuff. I don't know if you can see it over in that camera over there. Surprisingly, that is what feels most expensive on this guitar. Not to say it's a bad instrument, because it's not, but the tuners really surprised me. They're super smooth for something in this price range. That amazed me a lot. Then you have a pickup system, which is pretty amazing, considered the price range of this guitar. You have bass, mid, treble, and presence, and then a volume. I'll see if I can get some B-roll in there to show you. I think you have 20, yes, you have 20 frets on this guitar. Um, which is, I gotta be completely honest, not the best fret work I have ever tried. You can hear when I sort of bend. They're not that polished. I'm guessing after a couple of hours playing this guitar, you would be able to just play it in, but that shouldn't really be the thing you want to do when you receive a guitar. When you receive a guitar, you want polished frets and not something like this. You also have some minor cosmetic errors here and there, but that shouldn't mean anything towards the tone or the playability. I think that pretty much covers it for the spec side of things. So let's just see if we can get some tones out of this instrument. A huge thank you to the people over at Lewitt for sending the microphone you will be hearing on the guitar today, the LCT440 Pure. This is the first time I try it on an acoustic guitar, so I'm pretty excited to see how that sounds like when I'm editing this video. Anyway, let's get into some tones. <laughs> A little disclaimer, I just restrung this guitar, so if it goes out of tune, it's not because of bad tuners, because they're actually pretty good on this guitar, it's because I literally just 15 minutes ago restrung this guitar.
Playability wise, this instrument is pretty good. Of course, you have the not played in frets, which is kind of annoying, but for strumming, it plays really great. The action is actually rather low, uh, which is something you don't see on inexpensive guitars, uh, especially not inexpensive acoustic guitars. I haven't checked the intonation yet, but let's uh, let's try something up above the seventh fret. <laughs> Intonation sounds pretty good. Pretty good, but again, those those frets being not that polished is annoying. Holly Benson should have stepped up their game there. Cause that's really annoying. I think the guitar sounds pretty great though. A lot of sustain. A lot of bottom end, crisp top, actually a lot of sustain. Still ringing. That's pretty good. I'm pretty amazed. This is the first time I'm playing this. I literally haven't played. I just restrung it and then tuned it and now we're here. Place really good. I don't see too many flaws. There's some, there's some paint thing going on here. Um, and that's pretty much it, I think. You can tell it's not an expensive guitar. You can tell, but it definitely doesn't come across as super cheap, except of that little fretwork issue. If if Holly Benton got that right, this would be a killer guitar still pretty good but the frets are annoying and i'm gonna keep coming back to that because every time i try to bend or vibrato anything it just it's annoying okay but let's just play some more let's get some more tones out of this guitar about that sustain that's definitely something Holly Benson got right let's get some more finger picking in there one two three four. Maybe even some picking guitar. Thank you. 
it's not a solo guitar and I'll tell you why it's because of those darn frets if those frets were smooth it would be a killer lead guitar <laughs> Other than that, other than that, I think this guitar is pretty good for the price range. I don't know how much it is. What is it like? One twenty-nine euro? I don't even think it's a hundred euro. Maybe it's seventy-nine euro. I don't know. You can check it out in the description down below. I'll post a link down there. Um, but anyway, this is a rather short one, but I think that pretty much covers it for this particular acoustic guitar from Harley Benson. The D120CE. I am not going to go over the pickup system in this video because it's just DI. It sounds like DI. I hate DI sounds. I would always prefer micing a guitar up like I have done it here with the Lewid LCT 440 Pure. Can't wait to hear what it sounds like. Anyway, I think that pretty much covers it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>